What's going on guys? Kevin here to bring you a brand new video where today we're going to be doing uh, day 23 of Horror October and for today's movie, a uh, movie that we opted to watch was Dawn of the Dead from 1978, um, not the new one and I didn't even know there was a new Dawn of the Dead until recently. It was actually directed by Zack Snyder. Like, what? Like, okay, that's interesting. Um, I might have to check that out sometime. But in the meantime, we watched George Romero's Dawn of the Dead, the one that he directed, um, and it was uh, pretty good. Um, I've been waiting so fucking long to see this movie, dude. I had this on my list to watch for last year's Horror October, and even before that, I had wanted to watch it for a while and just hadn't. And the reason why I hadn't watched it for a while is because I had heard that the ending to this movie was bad and that like it didn't end well. So it was like it was like giving me like bad hope for the movie. And also like the movie is pretty long. And I mean I do like long movies, but also like when you have long movies, it's hard to find the time to watch them. And you really have to, like, commit to them when it comes to watching them. So that was a little difficult to fit in for this Horror October. Um, especially lately, because I've been pretty busy. Uh, but yeah, uh, this this is really good. Um, I would say this is my favorite George Romero-directed movie so far. Uh, just kidding. Creepshow is better. <laughs> but this movie is... I'd say the best of the like zombie movies, the regular like of the dead series that George Romero does. Um, I like it better than Night of the Living Dead, even though that wasn't directed by George Romero. And I like it better than um, the original Night of the Living Dead and and the new one. Um, this one just has a lot like better variation with like what they do to like deal with zombies and like the different sorts of like scenarios that they get in. Um, as far as like fighting off zombies and just like what they're doing to survive Also, the setting of this film is also just like really refreshing Compared to just like staying inside a house and getting like windows broken by zombies in this one um, they spend most of the movie inside a mall and uh, Have to like fend off lots of them there and that's uh, really fun because there's just like so many different things that go down when it comes to them like fending off them um and they have like this hideout area that they go to and they like stock up on supplies and they like you know ward them off and like they just do like all sorts of things um for their like survival when they're like staying there this movie is pretty fucking long dude um there's just like a ton of things that happened in this movie and it's really hard to like break down all of them but basically, Dawn of the Dead follows, like, basically, it's it's as the title suggests, it's, like, basically the aftermath of, like, the zombie situation, where, like, it's already a known fact that zombies are, like, in an outbreak, and now, like, people are trying to do what they can to survive, and these people, um, there's, like, this group of people that, that are, like, doing their own thing, um, and they end up going to this mall because they thought it seemed like a, a viable place to go, I guess. Um, and so they go there and they find zombies there and they fight them off and uh, they they get a bunch of like food and just like stock up on stuff and like shelter and and block all the doors and yeah, it's a, it's a good time overall, but. Also, there's just like, there's just like a lot of like filler stuff in this movie that I just think wasn't necessary. Like, like a lot of the time it is justified for a movie to be like over two hours long, but I don't think this is really one of those scenarios um, because there's really just like a lot of moments where like something like that just feels like irrelevant is happening where like sometimes they would just be literally eating dinner um and nothing else was going on it was just them like trying to live normally basically 
um, and and there's this like whole other like weird storyline going on with this girl in the movie who was like pregnant she was thinking about getting an abortion and like I just feel like that didn't really you know add much to the movie I guess like it added weight to her like surviving in the end because like she does end up surviving in the end which is good but yeah I, I don't know about that I feel like I feel like with all the filler in this movie, this movie could have like easily been like probably like ten minutes shorter or fifteen minutes even. Funny enough, I actually had to stop watching this movie when there was like thirty minutes left roughly. And then when I came back, like a lot of it was just like filler stuff towards the end. Like that's where a lot of like the filler is. I mean the the ending itself is good, but towards the end, like that's where we do see like a lot of like unnecessary filler um, with these characters. At one point, like towards the end, like there's this like group of like biker guys who comes in to the mall trying to like steal stuff and just like rampage and kill and kill um, the people that were already there, like our main characters. That was kind of weird just because like I'm not like a big fan of like. Um, I'm not like a big fan of like The Walking Dead and a big reason is because like zombies aren't really like relevant. Um, zombies aren't really like part of the story a lot of the time in The Walking Dead and this is like one of those cases where like it becomes like way less about the zombies. Like at one point like it felt way more just like the war between people trying to survive. Like and that whole like theme I'm just like not really like on board with like I'm just I, I just like am not that into that whole theme of like like the fight for survival um, be between like people rather than just people fighting the zombies um, that just appeals to me more overall than that other like overarching theme I mean like yes it is true I'm sure if there was an outbreak then people would often be like at war with each other like fighting for like supplies and like shelter and whatnot but like at the same time in a movie it just it just doesn't feel that right to me i have to say but yeah overall the movie's really good um i like the characters in this um all of them pretty good but specifically i like the character of peter played by ken forey like his performance in this is just so amazing with his whole like attitude towards like fending off zombies and like surviving and just like the way he talks when it comes to like you know killing them and just like his whole demeanor is so amazing i just i i kind of like compare it a little bit to like uh keith david um in like the thing where he's just like stone cold and like is not like scared at all and is just like complete like serious mode like trying to survive and i just i just love all of it um it's just so great i i think i think that like really helped the movie a lot so there's this other guy named roger too uh who is like also a main character and he does end up like getting infected by a zombie unfortunately uh, which is like shitty to see because he was like a cool guy also but I mean I kind of like Peter better but he was pretty cool too um, and he was like a, a pretty good fighter and he was good at like killing them but he also like he he unlike Peter was kind of like letting his emotions get the best of him at times I could tell um, so yeah uh, even though he was like he was like more trained like he could like hit shots on zombies and that's the thing, like, with killing zombies, obviously, you know, you have to shoot them in the head, but, like, but, like, if you have to shoot them in the head, that means you have to be, like, a really good shot, and, like, usually, like, when either Peter or Roger were shooting the zombies, they would always hit them on, like, the first try, whereas, like, other people, like, uh, Flyboy and, like, the girl are trying to hit them, like, they, like, struggle, um, because they're not, like, trained which which makes sense 
But yeah, Roger was a cool character. Um, it's just a little sad because he does get infected, unfortunately. But I think it added to the story. It, it made it more interesting, the fact that he got infected and he had to get killed. Um, I don't know why they didn't... I don't know I don't know why they, like, waited to kill him. Like, I feel like they just could have, like, killed him, like, right away. But they chose not to. Like, it's the classic, like oh, he got bitten, like, is he gonna be alright? Like, dude, of course he's not gonna be alright. He got bitten by a zombie, like, obviously he's gonna, like, turn. But, like, I mean, it is, it is a movie from the 70s, so I guess, like, you have to, like, give it some slack for, you know, being a newer zombies movie. Um, but, like, yeah, even so, it was like, wow. I can see this from a mile away that he's going to get infected and he does like and then he has to get killed as a zombie but yeah and like I had like such low expectations for the ending of this movie because somehow I had heard it was bad but it wasn't bad not in the means of like bad as in like the ending wasn't like positive but also, like, the ending was both positive and it felt like a good ending to make the film good. Um, like, Peter and this girl both escape on the helicopter and at the, at the very end, uh, they were like, oh, how much fuel do we have left? And he's like, not much. And then, like, they just fly away and it's, like, ambiguous as far as, like, um whether they would like keep surviving which i kind of like the only other like issue i really had with this movie is that like you know obviously like yeah it's a zombies movie so like what's what's really gonna happen anyways but like there's no real like end goal of like the movie um which kind of does go with the theme of like surviving zombies but like in the end like all these people are trying to do is just survive and that's what they do they survive in the mall and they escape from the mall and then that's the end and then after that you assume they just keep trying to survive because that's what you do in a zombie apocalypse like that's all you do but like at the same time like part of me like wishes there was like some other like you know, end goal in mind for this, like, group, but I don't know what, necessarily. But yeah, anyways, I'm really glad I watched this movie. It was, like, a good, like, change of, like, type of movie I was watching, because, like, a lot of the previous movies I've been watching have been, like, way more messed up and just not as, as much to my liking a lot of the time. So this felt like a good, good change up from that for sure. Um, as far as the rating goes, you know, I, I really had trouble with it. I, I think I'm going to give this movie an 8.0. Like, like I'm just on the cusp of, like, giving it a 7, but I'm like, I think I'm going to give it an 8.0. Like, I think it's just barely good enough to deserve an 8.0. But yeah. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the video, though. Make sure to subscribe to see more content, and leave a like if you have enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.